All right, so who's got the taste for Sue Happy? Now, I'm talking about those jackasses that will sue for just about anything just to get rich fast. I have a list here of a couple of things of lawsuits that make no fucking sense to me. And these people actually won. A couple of them you may actually know. One of them is freaking worldwide known. So, let's cut to the chase. The lawsuit over the hot McDonald's coffee. The fucker put a cup of coffee in between his lap, or her lap, and drove away. Now, there is the driver's first fuck-up. You put a hot, full cup of coffee in between your legs while operating a motor vehicle. Knowing very well that going from stop to start is going to cause a little turbulence in the car. It's just pure logics. Now this coffee that is 120 plus degrees Fahrenheit, once it hits your pants and goes to your skin, it is going to hurt like a motherfucker. There's no doubt about that. But you know what's the funny part? Now, had this coffee have been cold, this dick slap would have turned around and went inside and bitched. But, because this dumbass got burnt by being a dumbass, hey, my coffee cup nowhere says that my coffee is extremely hot and use caution. My IQ of 45 tells me that I should sue. Fuck you. Next one. Home evasion. Story goes that a family was gone. Person breaks into their house, but... Or attempts to break into their house, but instead got to the attached garage. Well, the door connecting the house and the garage together were locked. So this person was now locked in the garage. For whatever reason, the entrance was not capable of being used as an exit. This person was in there for, I guess, a couple of days, or maybe a couple of hours, got hungry. There was no food left out in the garage. Would you believe that? These people didn't leave food in their garage for the possibilities that somebody might break into their house. So this person was stuck eating the dog food. Not only that, but there was no toilet in the, in the garage. So the dude probably had to either go in the corner or had to hold it. So, once the family got home, realized that there was someone in their garage, they called 911. The man got arrested, but the family got sued for mental anguish because they didn't have efficient amount of f proper food or a place for the person to go to the bathroom. And you got it. The criminal won. Next part goes where... If someone invades your home while you're there and you assault them, they have the right to sue you. And there have been several cases where that has happened. A perpetrator enters a the house. They get shot and killed or get their ass kicked. And the family sues the homeowners for assault or murder. And... You got it again. They won. Or the greatest one yet. Person driving a RV. For probably an excessive amount of time. Checks the owner's manual how to set the cruise control. Got his cruise control set. Open road. What a better time than to... Take a nap. 
Well, I don't know about you, but cars don't have automatic pilots. Not yet, anyhow. So, when you remove the driver from the car, what's going to happen? Lose control, go off the road, hit another vehicle? In other words, crash. And the car did, or RV. It did crash. The owner checked the owner's manual. And nowhere in the owner's manual did it state that this vehicle was not equipped with autopilot. And I'll bet you'll never guess what the results were. He won the lawsuit. I don't know. Dumbasses out there, like I said. Fuckers that just want to get rich fast for being stupid. Well, that's the end of my small list. Share some stories with me that you have, or let's have a laugh together, and you tell me what you think about these short stories. Alright, so we'll end it there. Peace out.